people. I could just look you up on YouTube or video, say, but they they give me a content violation for taking somebody else's video. Castlewood neighborhood. They say a man came out with weapons and fired shots at them. Five officers returned fire, killing them. WKYT's Chelsea Jones talked with a neighbor about the situation, and she brings us now our top story at five. When Herschel Short walked out to his white Chevy, he noticed the Ford symbol had been knocked off. Replacing it, he looked up and saw the front and back window shattered. A spray bullet had come down this way. And hit my truck. Last hit night, my truck. Down, Lexington police opened fire, killing a man. Chief Lawrence Weather said officers were responding to a suicide call and reports of shots being fired at this home. When officers arrived, they say a man came out with a rifle and a handgun. Officers told him to drop the weapons. Weather said the man shot at police and five officers returned gunfire. The 43-year-old man was hit and died. A man who lives in the neighborhood told us he heard several gunshots he didn't want to be identified. I heard about 15 to 20 shots. Um, and then the final round of shots I heard was exactly 15 shots. I counted them. He took this photo of the police presence, several cruisers surrounding the home. I think when I, when I looked out my window and saw at least 10 police running around the corner, that seems like too many for a mentally disturbed person. Karen Million lives nearby and heard the gunshots as well. Million is an advocate for mental health awareness. Is something what neighborhood is this? Personally. In her 60s, she says she has dealt with depression since being diagnosed in her 30s. She attributes her mother to keeping her alive. She said, if you're having a problem, go talk to somebody. But don't do anything because when you go, it affects everybody. I need to catch that smack. They keep showing that smack and they ain't giving no warnings or nothing before it comes on. Mental health calls. Officer Guy Miller told us Lexington Police does but on staff. Will Smith. It usually accompanies police on suicide calls. Firefighters are supposed to Looks like we're not going to get that smack today because they, they don't let us know the smack is coming on before it comes on. They just show it. And by the time I get my camera on, Will Smith is walking away and stuff. Yeah. This morning, officers spoke to the victim's family. A woman told us the victim the was her husband. She said she loved him very much and asked dancing. for privacy. Nah, I mean, I, I get it when he's walking away, though. Not, I, I miss the smack. By the time I push play, I get it with him, with him walking away. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I know how to do that, yeah. I just never thought of that. Yeah. Senate Education Committee. House Bill 9, late this afternoon, it now goes to the WKYT's Grayson Passmore is tracking the bill for us at the alert desk. Bill and Amber, this bill um, came up for a vote on Senate floor as early as tomorrow. House Bill 9 had just nearly passed the House last week. Debate over the bill lasted nearly every day in a packed Senate Education Committee. The many legislature approved charter schools in 2017. But it never had permanent funding. Every day. This measure would do three things. It would provide a permanent mechanism for charter schools. It would give smaller school districts Senate a bill. application. Would it will Smith a charter school to be established in Louisville and Northern Kentucky as a pilot project. Supporters say it would give parents more options. Get the wheel. Bill sponsor representative Chad McCoy says the schools will operate like public schools and are she not will. to turn our students away. We heard from many opponents during the Senate committee today, several from Fayette County, who fear their schools will lose needed seek funding for every student who goes to a charter school instead. Sure, I'm a Fayette she County will. school mom. I'm an SBDM member. When you tell me that whether it's 100 students or 300 Expedia. students are lost, that seek funding is lost. That is STEM labs that serve our children. That is all types of auxiliary services that we provide to children. I encourage you not to be misled by hyperbole. I would encourage you not to be misled by fear. And to remember that this bill is not about whether or not charter schools are legal in Kentucky. We've been here with that law since 2017, and I haven't changed it. If this 2017. bill all those changes, what were we doing for the last five years? Today's hearing also comes after a teacher's union filed an ethics complaint against
against a state representative. Kentucky 120 United Claims Representative Kim Banta of Fort Mitchell has a conflict of interest with House Bill 9 and should have abstained from voting for it twice last week. The complaint says Banta's husband works for a real estate developer that has shown interest in building climate in northern Kentucky. House Bill 9 would require a charter school to open in northern Kentucky as part of a pilot project. Without Banta's vote, the bill would not have made it out of the House committee which it did just narrowly. Back to you. Grayson, thank you. The Senate will have to give final approval to the bill by Wednesday to still override a likely veto by Governor Bashir. And uh, with a passage by 51 votes, a very narrow window sure. to, to do that override. So we'll be watching this very closely in this week ahead. Let's talk a little weather now. We are starting the last few days of March with colder than normal temperatures. Yeah, it's mm. a nippy out there. Colder than normal. Similar tomorrow, and then changes roll in for the I need week. to smack her it's across the nation. It's just cold. That's what you Notice with some sunshine. Yeah, we got the beautiful skies out there. Guys, if I'm just showing you the crisp cams without any context of the temperatures, you're thinking, man, what a beautiful spring day in Kentucky. Look at this. You got some blooms that are showing up, mix of sun and clouds, <laughs> but then those temperatures are 40 to 45 degrees on a day when it should be 60 to 65. Radar picture dry. Chris Bailey. cover creeping into the picture. Look at the cold air across the eastern half of the country. Chris snow Bailey. Snow showers, snow squalls across New England. We had a few of those flakes snow around spots. here Friday night into Saturday. A little overrunning juice. Uh, 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 to the north out of the uh, southwest. You get into Texas and the four corners. Things have been really toasty over the past few days. Then there's a bowling ball, low pressure that's going to roll its way across the country. And by the time we get into Wednesday and Wednesday night, that's going to bring us the Alumni. opportunity for severe weather here into Kentucky and high winds. WKYT first alert weather day for Wednesday into Wednesday night. Follow the future radar with that milder brand of air that will try to get in here for the day tomorrow. I can't rule out an isolated shower into the afternoon and evening. Tomorrow, though, it's a struggle again for those temperatures. But by the time we get into the day on Wednesday, dry to stop. It's like a in warm day guys we'll track that first alert weather day and what that means for you with the hour first power forecast as we weather we track the threat for severe weather when i get back in a few minutes hey, well, well okay i thought you was going to do it now you going to make me wait the name of the person who was killed in the i need to know what it looks like so i can walk tomorrow so i can get my walk in tomorrow and you going to make me wait on the weather because it's yeah but a fourth person died on the I need to know what the weather's going to be. Make sure it ain't now raining and right. stuff on me. PETA is offering a reward to find the person who killed a cat with a dart in Jessamine County. We first told you about this story last week. Animal Care and Control says someone is going around a neighborhood. They are shooting cats with darts. They say this isn't the first time this has happened. PETA is offering up to $5,000 to help find the suspect. If you the bearded barley. Asked to call Jessamine County the bearded barley. Barley, the bearded the barley. Health department is updating the city on COVID vaccines. And COVID. As you say almost 87 percent of people 12 and older have received at least one dose of the COVID vaccine. They getting out of control with these vaccines. That age group have gotten the booster. The health department says cases have slowed. I'm gonna have to get my next vaccine, my booster shot in June. Right now, 32 yeah. people who live in Lexington are hospitalized. 69% of them are not vaccinated. President Biden says he makes no apologies for calling for Russian President Vladimir Putin's removal. He said he was expressing, quote, 